Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi friends, in this lecture, we will see how to convert data types of column in PySpark. So let's have a look at our data frame first. Here we have a data frame DF. It has eight columns and 14 records. Now let's have a look at our data frame schema, which can show us what are the data types of particular column. So here, each column data type is string data type. So here we have high date and salary columns. Now we are going to convert high date column to date data type and salary column to integer data type. So let's walk in through the code first. Here we are going to import date data type and integer type from pyspark.sql.types. So first we are going to convert high date column to date and salary column to integer. So to do that by using with column function, we are going to apply cached on the particular column. Then the cached is going to be convert the required data type. Here we need data type as date. So that's why we mentioned here date type. And finally column is going to be named as high date. Likewise, we have salary column and by using cache function, we are converting salary column from string to integer type. So how the date format is going to be identified by Spark. So when you apply date type, Spark internally identifies the format and it converts that particular value to the date. Okay, so let's try to execute the commands one by one. Here I'm trying to execute three commands at a time. Okay, now let's have a look at our schema. here the high date column got converted to date and salary got converted to integer now let's have a look at our data so there is no change in the values of the columns but if you can have a look at our schema that's high date column converted to date and salary column got converted to integer type so here we have executed the command one by one so how we are going to execute the two commands with a single command so for that, get your first command as it is, then get the second command without data frame. So likewise, you can add n number of columns and you can execute this one. So let's try to execute this one and have a look at the print schema. See here, that got converted to date and salary also got converted to integer. Let's have a look at the data. Right, so there is no change in the data. So let's say, for example, there might be chances of you may get with different date formatter. So, likewise, if you can have a look at this data frame year, month, and date is going to be separated by slash, but here separated by hyphen. So, sometimes the Spark does not uh, identify your format, then we need to mention the format explicitly. So to do that, here is another method. First, we are going to import date time and from functions, we will import call and UDF. So types we have already imported date type and it is a type. So here we are going to create a UDF underscore F1. In this UDF, we are going to call lambda function. So for each and every element of high date column values we are going to pass that values here and the value is going to be matched with the format so let's try to execute so before executing let's have a look at df3 schema so all the column data types are strings now just try to import our functions now i'm going to create a udf then i'm going to call my udf with this command right now let's have a look at the schema of udf2 see high date got converted to date data type and let's try to show the values of df2 see high date 
not converted to date data type. Let's have a look at our original data frame. So here the value is going to be slash. Now that got converted to park date data type. So this is how we are going to convert the data type inside park. Thank you guys.